I coded my ideas in Minecraft, but I don't know if I made it better or worse. So let me know how I did. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. So I've been thinking, it's a shame that the Jeb Easter egg is only for the sheep. Why not also make it for creepers? And the best part is, a free fireworks show. Who doesn't love free fireworks? Okay, so Minecraft doesn't have aggressive mobs. It just has incredibly sleepy mobs who might just need a nap. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, mobs can sleep on beds. I think it's a fun way to get mobs off your back, if I do say so myself. <sighs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, look, man, take it easy. You're not yourself when you don't get <laughs> when you don't get your beauty sleep. Stop! Hey, that's not that. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> okay. Okay. <gasps> hey, why do you get to sleep with the? Well, that's just not fair. <sighs> That was a fake yawn. And seeing all of <laughs> and seeing all of these mobs sleep in beds, oh that's cool. It makes me want to sleep in a bed too, but it's daytime. Whatever will I do? I'm going to sleep the day away. <laughs> so that's right. In my version of Minecraft, you could sleep the day away. And now it's nighttime. Why did I do that? <laughs> my sleeping schedule is ruined. Okay, we've all heard of golden carrots. They're great, easy to craft, and let's face it, they are- Oh, that, uh, that is not how you do it. They are quite nutritious, if I do say so myself. But, what about something even better? Something like, well, I don't know, maybe golden potatoes? Oh, great, I've been poisoned. If only I had something amazing like golden potatoes to take away the poison. Be oh, uh, I need more golden potatoes! Okay, maybe chunky milk would be better. I mean, who doesn't enjoy a good cup of <laughs> chunky milk? <laughs> oh, oh, darn it. Stop right there! Have you ever made a mistake on a sign and needed to break it to fix it? Well, worry not, my friend, because now you can edit signs by shifting and right-clicking so that you can finally hide away all of those mistakes and your friends can no longer laugh at you. Wow, talk about an awesome feature! On October 3rd, 2020, Minecraft was changed forever. Three mobs went face to face in a voting battle where there, the glow squid, reigned victorious. And it was on that day that we lost the chance to ever see none other than the Moo Bloom in Minecraft, a mob that I voted for because it was amazing. The Moo Bloom had a lot of potential. I know the Moo Bloom may not have been the most popular vote. But just imagine being able to farm any flower type you want. It's just such an amazing feature for Minecraft, but instead, we got a useless glowing squid. I'm sorry, they're making me do this. Okay, but over dramatic feedback aside, I really do think the Moo Bloom would have been a great feature for Minecraft. So in the perfect world of my Minecraft, I imagine there being Moo Bloom all across the fields. Oh, it's just, I mean, look at them. They're amazing. You're amazing, you. I've always been bad at inventory management, particularly with enchanted books. I mean, there are so many of them. So that's why we made this a bookshelf. Well, let me explain. This actually is a real bookshelf, only we've completely redone it so that you can actually use it to store books. And as you can see, the texture actually changes depending on how many books you have in the bookshelf. And what's amazing about this is you can have a bookshelf for your mending books or any other bookshelf for, well, other enchanted books. But it actually gets even cooler than this. Let's say that you have a couple of different types of enchanted books. In this case, we've made it so that you can actually dye them different colors along with generic books as well. So in this case, we've got a cyan blue fortune three book and a red looting three book. And of course, well, you get the idea. And it looks amazing to have all kinds of different books labeled inside of a bookshelf. I mean, I think this is probably my favorite feature in this video. And I mean, come on, who doesn't love organization? <sighs> this next feature is one I've wanted for a very long time, but luckily we have it on Origin Realms. Let me show you. Oh God, oh God, okay, oh God. 
Oh, hang on. Burn. 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 Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. On Origin Realms, we have a handful of features, and one of the best features comes from item frames. This is a very simple change that should have been in Minecraft. You can use shears to make them invisible. <laughs> this is something you can obviously do with commands in vanilla Minecraft, but you can't use it in survival when you very much should. This is such a cool way to do it. I love it. It's so amazing. Oh, uh, wait. Well, what do I do now? <laughs> Have you ever had a redstone farm or maybe a bee farm and your minecart just kind of got stuck and stopped moving? It can be really annoying to have to break blocks just to get to it. Well, no more, because in this update, we've made it to where you could shift and just, and just give it a little punch. And there you go. It moves and all of your fears, oh, all of your fears have been resolved. Such a simple change with such a big impact. I love this. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Everybody knows I'm terrible at redstone and I'm never in these situations, but I'm sure this could still be useful, right? Uh, just like, I don't know, maybe a useful situation where you need to take villagers who are stubborn away from their village and onto somewhere else. If only I could lure them in. Oh wait, I can. Using emeralds, we've made it so that villagers, oh gosh, that, oh, they really like emeralds. Hello, anybody else wanna come along? Oh. Look, villagers are really greedy, and you can tell by their prices. I didn't realize they were this greedy, though. They love emeralds. Maybe a little too much, actually. You, you guys need to... Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, take it easy, guys. Uh, they're just emeralds. <laughs> Here, take them. T take them. Gosh. What? Maybe they just like my cologne. Wow, look at all of this copper. So much copper. Even more copper. You know, there's been several times where I've just had way too much copper in my inventory. And sure, I can make raw copper blocks and have a great time. But when it comes time to smelt, well, it's just a lot to handle. So I thought of a perfect way to fix that problem. But uh, first, I'm going to need a little bit of coal. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Watch this. Watch this. Blast furnace. Okay. Boom. Pow. <laughs> hey, smelting action. Get ready for this. And, but, oh, uh, wait. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Uh, block of raw gold. Look, sometimes things don't go according to plan, but it's okay. In this case, you can see we can basically take the raw form of a block and smelt it into the proper block of that same ore. That would be amazing for inventory management, especially in 1.17 where we don't have bundles. Okay, this one is for those of you who really, really enjoy PvP. This one's for all of those times when you're caught up fighting multiple mobs at once and you start getting low on health. And this red overlay lets you know exactly when you should probably use your instant health potions. Oh, oh, okay, uh, it's not, all right, well, nothing can save me from being a bad Minecraft player. Okay, let, let me let me show you that again, okay, in a, in a more uh, friendly to myself situation. I'm just gonna jump off this tree and you could oh well uh that wasn't enough uh, give me just a moment uh, okay okay let's uh let's uh, let's cool down for a minute i'm going to try that again in a different setting uh something as simple as jumping off of a tree and you can see that there is a ever so slight red overlay that is appearing on my screen just in time to let me know exactly how low i'm getting on hearts and you can see it's very effective because now i know to eat a golden apple and stay away from the mansion because i can't handle it and last but certainly not least here I am in my newly acquired mansion that I totally didn't cheat to obtain and take over. <sighs> and I've got a nice wall that would be perfect for a painting. Unfortunately, in Minecraft, we don't have any paintings that would fit a 3x3 three three area. But in my perfect version of Minecraft, oh, we most certainly do. We most certainly do. 3x3 three three paintings. The most simple change that could ever be added in a... Wait, is, is, that, is that my head on a, a goat? Uh, get that out of here. The most simple change ever. That could be so effective. You know, I, it's not that bad. <laughs> hey, handsome. How you doing? <laughs> bah! That, <clears throat> that's, not, that's not a noise that a goat makes. Um, what do they do? They, uh, they scream, right? <clears throat> cut, cut that out. Cut that out. Today's art showcase comes from Vinixalas, who creates amazing renders of the ideas on this channel and even Origin Realms. And no matter what, you can always count on them to be super impressive. Share your art with me and maybe you'll be featured on the next showcase. 
Well, 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 look who it is. If it isn't my favorite person ever, thank you so much for watching yet again another video. And hey, if you subscribed, thank you even more. I really appreciate that. We're on the road to 1 million. It is actually insane. But that being said, since you are my favorite, I picked out two videos just for you that I think you're going to love. If you click to the left, you could see how I coded Endermen differently in Minecraft. And if you click to the right, you could see I coded your ideas in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy that one. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead. Click on it. It's okay. You can go. <laughs> Thanks for watching.